I want to be made whole again. I want to feel like somebody is looking at this village the way it should be looked at. Uh, it's not what it used to be, and we need to restore it to a nice, beautiful community of which, which it was. And I think uh, partially with this administration that we have and the things that are going on, um, I think the public should be made aware of what really did happen. And henceforth, Mr. Stark and I, the Van Ums, we sat down along with other people in the village and we said, you know, what do we want to do? We, we don't want to create a problem and create a cost factor that breaks this village. We'd like to see it the way it used to be. This is a great place to live. I would love to have a public apology. I don't want to put words in your mouth, but it sounds orchestrated. It sounds like dirty politics. Um, you know, we all know what's going on in the county through the media and through other things. Whether it's true or not true, it remains to be seen. Um, dirty politics, Cuyahoga County, as I found out when I ran for sheriff, was called the state of Cuyahoga through this whole state. And, and it, it, dirty politics is probably the word you have to use, but uh, I, I can't say that because I can't pinpoint exactly, you know, why they did this. Uh, retired Police Chief Paul Falzone, seated to my left, is demanding a public apology and reinstatement of his position in the community. When a charge is brought against him and he's placed on administrative leave without any prior warning or consideration after so many years of service, I think that's outrageous and it's a violation of his civil and state rights. And that's compensable. That's really actionable under state law. But we don't want to have to bring an action. We're hoping that the village considers its position and approaches us in such a manner as if to say, what is it you want and how can we resolve this amicably? And that's exactly what we want to do. There's a demand presently by the chief for a public apology, for a turn, a restoration of his reputation in the community, recognition of his years of service, and the costs to Falzone personally were staggering. The cost of his counsel, the cost of bond, the cost of his health, and for that reason we have a demand against the village and its officials for a public apology. That letter was delivered by messenger on or about April 20th or 21st to Stephen O'Brien, the director of law, in which we requested a public apology and the information under the sunshine laws of this state for the information to be produced, which was never produced at trial. At this point, ladies and gentlemen, this matter is not money-oriented. The chief wants justice done, and justice shall thou do.